Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray, the Gorgeous Oracle, and I am here to do your mid-July to the end of July readings. This for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs. I heard antsy. Somebody could be anxious, anxious, antsy. Um. anticipating I heard waiting for a response and the eight of wands flipped over when I said that uh spirit give me additional myth uh spirit give me messages for Gemini from mid-July to the end of July spirit give me messages for Gemini for mid-July to the end of July. Somebody here could be falling out. Somebody uh somebody here is shedding real bad. Or you could be noticing your hair is shedding or falling out or something. Spirit, give me messages for Gemini mid-July to the end of July. So, Gemini, I have the Page of Cups, the Tower, the Four of Pentacles, with the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck i have cancer scorpio pisces capricorn towards virgo i heard you could be dealing with a cancer you could be talking to a cancer i heard about your problems scorpio Gemini, this could be you or someone in regards to you. It's like somebody had hopes for um, y'all to reconcile or to come back together. I heard fix this. Somebody felt like we can fix this. So we can work on this. However, something happened to where... I heard it's impossible. Somebody feel like it's impossible to fix something with you, Gemini, or Gemini, this is you. I heard ruined. Somebody feel like they ruined a connection. I heard for good. I don't have the death card out here yet, or if it if it comes out. But according to this person, they feel like I heard screwed up. This person feel like they screwed up so bad to where... It's impossible for y'all to come back together. It's impossible to um, fix this. I keep hearing like fix this. We can we can fix it. Somebody thought about you know fixing things with you as well. I heard plan like like they actually had a plan on what they was gonna say. When they was going to come forward and everything. But something happened to where. I heard screw up. Somebody feel like they're a screw up. They always fucking up some shit. Another mess I'm getting. Because I heard I see why. Somebody see why you don't want to deal with them anymore. Or you don't deal with them no more. <laughs> yeah, ten of wands. Let me keep pulling. Somebody that's connected to your person of interest. I heard make fun. They make fun of 
this is the thing. Gemini, this could be you or someone in regards to you. The T is that somebody like had plans to leave somebody and to come be with you, right? And I heard they think about you a lot to where they had plans to come forward and I heard reconcile with you. However, the person that they were with, that person used to, I heard, always make fun of the person that you want to go to. But the T is that <laughs> I'm laughing to myself because it's like somebody always made fun of the person that you want to be with. But the plot twist is... You look at the person that's always trying to make fun of the person that you in love with or want to be with. You look at, at them like they're stupid because the person that you actually in love with, they the ones stop fucking with you. Or they the ones like walked away from you. And that's what makes you want this person even more or want to be with this person even more because I heard boundaries. The person that gets made fun of the plot twist is that person that i heard people talk about and people make fun of this person that person has i heard more boundaries and standards than the people that try to clown them or make fun of them and i feel like this is something that you think <laughs> to yourself and um when these people or whoever you're connected to, when they try to clown and make fun of the person that you want to be with, I feel like you don't say anything. I heard agree. You could verbally you agree with this person or people, but in your mind, I feel like you be talking shit about the people. Uh, I feel like it's a person in particular. I heard thinks they're better. Somebody that somebody thinks they're better than the person that you in love with or the person that you want to reconcile with. So I just heard you understand why this the one the person I heard, okay, the person that's a bully and that's always trying to make fun of your person. You think to yourself, I heard threaten. You you think to yourself, okay, you seeing this and doing this about them. Because really you threatened by them. I heard insecure. You insecure. I heard childish. You childish as fuck. It's like in your mind. You have like 101 reasons on. <laughs> why you want to leave one person. I heard it makes sense. The more somebody make fun of. Like the person you want to be with. This person just don't know that. They're actually pushing you more to the person that you want to be with because you like the things this person do and say in reference to the person you want to be with i heard lame and corny like you think the person that's making fun of your person you think that person is lame and corny and <laughs> when this person i heard bring up your person's flaws you think to yourself like you actually i heard you look <laughs> They look better than you or you even worse than them. Like, how can you talk about somebody, make fun of somebody, and you look a hot-ass mess? Or your actions, you childish as fuck. You know, it's like you have, but this is in your mind. You're not saying nothing. I heard have that moment. You let this person talk bad about the person you in love with because you looking at it like all right they can have a 15 15 minutes of fame like okay yeah uh-huh yep that's cool yep and i feel like you even agree with them too because you want some shit like i heard it don't matter you feel like the person that you've been connected to they don't even matter anyway so i heard it goes out of one ear out the other when they talk about your person of interest or when they make fun of your person of interest and then, I don't know if this is you, Gemini, or someone in regards to you. And then you think to yourself, you got so much to say about them, and they don't even worry about you. You not like you think about like you not even a, important to them, but you got you always got their name in your mouth. And 
I heard the times I talk to them, they don't even talk about you like that. I heard funnier. You even feel like the person that you in love with is, I heard, way funnier than the person that you've been with. But the T is that the person you've been with, they think they're funny. They think, um, I heard you laughing at them, not with them. Somebody think they're a comedian, but you, you just look at them, I heard lost. Like, you just look at them like a lost soul. They don't know no better. But the T is that your person, that the, the person that you in love with, you feel like they're really funny. They're a comedian. They love themselves. They got standards. They got boundaries. They don't have no problems or issues walking away from me. You know, like, you just, it's like this. these are Everything that you're t you're thinking about in your head, every time when another person I heard or people try to point out things about the person that you in love with, but some more tea is that whoever makes fun of the person you want to be with, they gonna get the short end of the stick to where. It's going to catch them by surprise that you, cause I do feel like you're planning on leaving somebody to get with somebody else. And I feel like it's going to catch this person by surprise. This person is going to be humbled. Real humble. This person going to look stupid. I heard, look at her, look at him. That's what you uh, somebody could have even said, like, uh, what made you even talk to a person like them? And you think to yourself, like, what made me even talk to somebody like you? I heard you whack and lame as fuck. I heard, what did I get myself into? Like, when this person talked. I heard try to talk to you, you get annoyed. This person annoys you. And when this person talks to you, another message I just heard, this, when this person talks to you, it's just to make fun of the person I heard that they know you want to be with. Another message I'm getting, somebody purposely talk bad about another person just to make sure you don't go to them. They do this, so I feel like at first when they was doing this, you didn't think nothing of it. But with all these major arcanas, now it's making sense like, you talk about them more than me. Mm-hmm. That's because you really threaten, you really jealous, you don't want me to go to them. It's because I heard you know they even look better than you. I heard a sigh, like somebody just taking a deep breath, like, <sighs> it's like somebody is annoyed. <laughs> like, I heard you don't have nothing else to talk about. It's like you looking at this person, like from a whole new pair of lenses. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Y'all may want to watch my Capricorn reading. You question the person you got with. You think to yourself, like, if I can go back in time, I heard none of this would never happen. You have so many regrets about getting with this particular person. I heard roster. You feel like the person that always making fun of the person you want to be with, you feel like that person is like... Number nine or ten on your roster. Like, you don't even think highly of this person. I heard a joke. Like, you look at this person as a joke. And I feel like this person, they say stuff about your person. And they feel like it's funny. And I feel like when they say, if y'all together, they say these things and they look at you, wait, because they, it's like they waiting on a response. They waiting on you to laugh or something like that. And I, I heard, uh -huh, uh -huh. 
I heard, uh huh, huh. You, you stupid. But it's so dry. And you just thinking to yourself, like, I heard it could be a dude. Because I just heard this dude so corny. Or you just look at somebody like, bro, they so fucking corny. They so lame. I heard who sits around and talk about somebody all day. I heard using somebody's name for clout. You feel like the person that makes fun of your person, you feel like that person is like trying to use somebody, use your person name for clout. Or they trying to look cool by talking about somebody else. Like somebody want brownie points or something for the things they point out about your person. And you just look at this person like, if only if you know that my person don't even bother you or pay you no mind. I heard you not even on a level. I heard mentally. Mentally alone, you not on my person's level. I heard only if you knew what I knew about them. Another message, whoever your person is connected to or dating, their person talk about you like they know you. And... <laughs> Uh, I don't know who I'm talking about, but if somebody talks about another person like they they just know them personally. And uh, Gemini, this could be you or someone in regards to you. You just think to yourself like you really have no idea. I heard you really don't know how powerful this person is. I heard you really don't know what you're up against. You don't know what you up against. Somebody and whoever this person is, they they look down on your your person that you in love with. They look down on this person. They think they're better than this person. They think they're above this person. And Gemini, you when you think about this situation, you already know how powerful and strong somebody is. I heard weak. You think this person is weak. The person that's always trying to make fun of the person that you're in love with. And how you feel. You on some shit like the audacity of you to say these things. Like you know my person when they don't have to do the shit that you've done to get me. Look at what you look at what you had to do to get me. And the person you making fun of, they didn't even have to lift a finger. And I think about them all day, all motherfucking day, all night, I think about them. And they didn't do none of the shit that you had to do to, to get me. I heard you made me like you. But all these are thoughts. Like... <laughs> All these are thoughts. <laughs> but I heard the truth gonna come out about how you really feel about this person. I heard, bitch, you can't even dress. Look at you. Whoever I'm talking to, talking about this person could have a cat or a dog. They could have a pet. They can have short hair. Their hair could be uh, dyed, like maybe blonde or burgundy, or it's just it's like a short, like a short, um, maybe like a mini fro, or like a short cut. I heard they had on grow. You and your person, I feel like your person even knows this about the person that's making fun of you. Or making fun of the person you in love with. Somebody know like, bitch, look at you. You chicken head. Your hat don't even grow. And the person I'm in love with, they have way longer than yours.
but <laughs> some more tea it it makes you angry I heard strong opinion it makes you real angry about when this person I heard people when people are especially this person in particular it makes you angry that so many people got shit to say about your person of interest and I heard and they don't even know them with these major arcanas out here you starting to look at people differently like damn people be having strong opinions about other people that they don't even know I heard that's crazy. I heard that's wild. You don't even know them and you say all these I heard hateful things about them. You like, yeah. I I really can't stand you can't stand whoever this person is. When I say you can't stand them, it, it makes you upset when they talk to you. When they talk to you about anything. Like it just it annoys you. I heard deep breaths like you have to take deep breaths or you have to take I heard shots so you have to have a drink before you interact Ooh, excuse me before you interact with this person whoever this is it's like your body is how you look at this person you want some shit like okay well my body is here but mentally and emotionally like I'm in a whole nother zone. That's why somebody be on like drugs or alcohol or something when they with this person. And the tea is that like whenever this person is trying to make jokes or make fun of the person you you in love with. One of the reasons why you probably laugh or giggle is because like you high or you, you drunk or something. Another message I'm getting when you with this person or interact with this person, you actually laughing at how this person look. Whoever the person that's making fun of your person, you feel as though they not really attractive. But this person feel like they the baddest thing ever. They feel like they the baddest, baddest bitch baddest dude they just feel like they just they the shit and whenever you drunk or high or something you when you look at this person you have visions of like animals i heard dogs somebody you feel like somebody look like an animal or something you feel like they look weird but that's when you're high or drunk <laughs> Another message, y'all. Somebody use their imagination a lot to where when they interact with this person, because they, Gemini, I don't know if this is you or someone in regards to you, they don't take this person seriously. They look at this person like a joke. So when this person be trying to talk shit about the person that you're in love with, when you're high or drunk, you'll look at them and you'll just think of like funny shit. I heard cartoon characters. You could, you could feel like, I heard superhero. You could feel like somebody looked like a, a cartoon character. I heard a uh, superhero. I heard Thor's brother. I forgot his name. You, you feel like somebody or you picture their face on this person. I heard even sex. Like when you, because you, you do have sex with this person. I heard not as often. However, even um, when you do have sex with this person, you put somebody else's face on top of theirs. Somebody be in their head a lot. They good at envisioning things. Somebody could have Pisces in their chart, like dreamy, fantasy. Somebody... They, it's like to them, they live in a fantasized world or a fantasy world. So even when these people do have sex, 
somebody is able to um climax because they put somebody else's face on top of this person when i say somebody don't have no respect for this person no whatsoever they have absolutely no respect for this person And whoever, whoever lives in a fantasy world, they actually put the person they're in love with, they put their face on top of this person. So, that's why Gemini, I mean, this could be you or, you, or someone in regards to you. That's why you, you just, I like, heard you just don't care for this person. You feel like, another message, you feel like this person is one of the, the most uneducated I heard silly person like you ever met you feel like this person just don't know no better and you you just feel like um only if they knew like they talk all this shit about my person but only if they knew that I put my person's face on top of theirs Like this person, <sighs> but they don't get a rude awakening though. And whoever this person, look, I can go on. I've been on this for, t I've been on this stupid person for 26 minutes. And this person. Something could happen. This person, like a, a freak accident. Somebody could end up breaking their leg or something. Maybe on vacation. Or somebody going to fall down a cliff. This person actually lived in a fantasy world too. But their fantasy world is like them being better than people or them feeling like superior over people. I heard because of your person. Whoever this person is that think um that make fun of the person you want to be with, you're actually like the most attractive person they ever been with. So by them being able to connect with you, it boosted boosted this person's self esteem. Somebody is like handsome or beautiful or something like that, and this person look a hot ass mess. But they feel as though okay, if I can get with Gemini, then bitch, I'm unstoppable. Can't nobody tell me nothing. I'm the baddest, and I'm this, I'm that. But the T is that that's somebody fantasy world. Because that's not true. And somebody at Gemini, you could have actually got with this person because of, I heard what they was bringing to the table or what they was providing for you. But this person, when they look at you, they look at you like, you must have seen something special in them for you to choose them over everybody else. And Gemini, I feel like you did see something special in them. I feel like what you seen in them was, I heard like they they were an easy target or they're easy to manipulate or they give you stuff. And Gemini, you could even know you're the 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 bestest person ever had. That's why I heard pathetic. That's why you look at this person like pathetic. They just don't know no better. I heard they, they really don't know how I really feel about them. So... 
something happened, Gemini, to for you to reconcile with the person that you really want to be with. I feel like you're going to come back around, but you're going to come back around. I heard trying to buy them or give them money or something. You're going to do something to help them out. I heard as a gesture. So y'all can get back together. Another message I just heard. I'm still stuck on this person. You can't get. you. It's like you can't wait to get rid. You can't wait to get rid of this person. That's how much this person make you sick. I heard your family. I feel like even your family know this person make you sick. I feel like you even talk shit about your about this person to your family. I heard I noticed. Some truth could be coming out about this person and about the person you want to be with. You could be I heard sitting down. You could have a conversation with your family. I heard about two people. And whatever you tell them, I feel like your family already know about both of these people. Like, your family already know that you actually tripped in because you and the person you're in love with, y'all have issues. Or y'all broke up or something. And then you're going to tell your family that. I feel like you're going to tell your family you actually did. You could have tried a whole bunch of times to break up with this person. I feel like you're going to keep it 100 with your family. About both situations. About both people. I heard now. But whatever you say about this person. The family already knew about it. I heard odd. The family feel like this person is odd or weird. The family even noticed like the things you do in front of this person. And this person don't say nothing. I heard disrespect. You could be you could have disrespected this person in front of your family on several different occasions. And your family I heard they talk amongst themselves like, yeah, he he or she, they really don't like them. And your family even look at this person like, you still around? And they talk to you like this or treat you like this? I heard they even talk about the person that they in love with in front of you. You still around? I feel like your family heard positive things about the person you're in love with and negative things about the person you're in love with. And you could have actually said positive things in front of the person, in front of the person that you actually been dealing with. Another message I'm getting: you purposely disrespect this person in front of your family. I heard get the picture, so your family can even get the picture of what you've been dealing with. Like you can't get rid of this person. And even the family feel like you must be the finest person. I heard idiot. This idiot ever had. Even the family uh, feel like this person is pathetic. Even the family know like what this person have done for you. Provided for you. I heard. I feel like you don't even vent to your family how this person always talk about the person that you in love with. Yeah, it's, it's like some truth and clarity about to come out to where I, I, I feel like you can't take it no more. I feel like because you in love. I heard wrong. You feel like you, you just been wrong. I heard it's time to come clean. You, I feel like you're going to come clean to your family. I heard first like you're gonna set them down and talk to them but the things you gonna the things you say i feel like your family already knew this they were just waiting on you um i heard to confirm and i feel like the things you tell them about this person i heard jaw drop 
they even gonna be like, what? You did that and they still, they still was with you or, you know, they still was doing for you and you did that. You said that in front of them. I heard humiliated. You have humiliated this person as well. I feel like in front of the family. I heard their family too. You did things in front of this person's family and in front of your family to show like you don't like them. I feel like even this person's family know you don't like them. Everybody around you know that you don't like this person. But this person always talk about the person that you in love with. Another message I'm getting. <laughs> this person even, like when they come around your family and friends. This person will even spark up a conversation by dissing the person that you want to be with. And I feel like your family, even your family and friends feel like they... It, they must be jealous or bothered or something. Even your family and friends feel like something is wrong with this person. I heard who does that. Who is somebody in your family? I heard you too. You even feel like, okay, who comes around other people? And the first thing they, they say or whatever come out their mouth, they start talking sh shit about the person that... I'm in love with. I feel like you're going to tell the truth. You're going to tell the truth that even the person that I'm in love with, they don't say nothing about this person at all. They don't, you won't even tell them honestly, they don't even care for this person. They don't even acknowledge this person. The person that I'm, I'm in love with, they actually look down on this person. I heard I figured somebody comes across like they don't care I feel like it's your person that you in love with and somebody in your family feel like yeah I kind of I get that vibe from them like anyway I heard it who are you yeah the person that you in love with they give the vibe like I heard queen like a king like energy to where they don't even Pay this person no mind. I, I, I feel like it's like a a group conversation. And I do feel like you, you talking to your family and friends or something. And you you just letting them know like they all they have all these negative things to say about the the person I'm in love with. And they could have only talked to each other once or twice. Or they could have crossed paths like once or twice. I heard in the things they say about your person, they, it's like they even talk about, they talk like, they talk about them like they know them. I feel like even your family or friends are like questioning this person. Everybody around y'all feel like something is off feel like something is wrong but this person they don't it's like they don't see nothing they don't peep the vibe attitude somebody i feel like your family or friends i heard even you you have attitudes with this person and like front of in front of your family and friends I feel like for the longest, you kind of kept your composure. But I feel like now, it's like you don't even give a fuck. I heard because they know the truth anyway. Like, I don't like you. And your family and friends, they just feel like they always talk about your person that you in love with. I heard, are they obsessed? Somebody in your family always thought it was weird. 
or y'all like an odd couple or somebody in your family knew like this person wasn't your type they always knew that I heard you knew it too I heard more to the story and I feel like your family found out okay that's why they together cause this person do this and that this and that oh okay that's why cause out of all the females I've seen and then like the person I could be talking to a Gemini male cause I heard my brother and the and the the people my brother dated my brother dated and then the person that my brother is in love with well I mean just flip the world if this is a female Somebody just feel like, what the fuck you doing with this person? I heard didn't seem genuine. When somebody in your family already knew, like, being with this person, it just wasn't genuine. It was more to the story. On how y'all even got together. Somebody in regards to, somebody in your family or friends could have known, like, you could have got with this person to piss off the person that you're in love with. I heard confess. You could even confess this. I heard what the fuck I was thinking. It's like now you having a lot of regrets. To where you about to start. I heard telling the truth now. I heard having did nothing to her. Somebody could have even lied and said like the person that you in love with was doing stuff to them. I heard coming after them or coming for them. But I feel like you're going to confess to your family and friends that your person haven't done nothing to them. I heard honestly, they haven't done nothing to them. I heard me. Usually me me and the person that I'm in love with, they come for me. They got shit to say to me. But to the person that you've been dating or seeing or something like that, I feel like you gonna come clean and tell the truth like my person don't even pay them no mind. My person actually looked down on them. It's like the nurse for <laughs> this person to look down on my person and my person look down on them. But the person that you in love with, you actually, you look at them like a, a queen or a king. Like you, you, I heard pay your respect. You want to pay your respect. You want to pay your respect to this person to where now you about to start coming clean. You could have tainted you in this. I heard crazy person. Y'all both could have tainted and smeared the person that you in love with character to where deep down you have so much respect for this person to where you want some shit like, you know what? I, I got to come clean because this not right. I heard they taking the blame for everything and they didn't even do nothing. This not right. I heard a few in a few of your family members or friends. They could have... Um, they could have been upset or maybe they didn't like the person that you in love with. But the T is that the reason why your people didn't like the person you in love with. Because I, I feel like you and this crazy person, y'all both could have been smearing this person. Lying on this person and throwing this person under the bus. I heard it's time to set the record straight. This person, you look at this person like they're actually like the, a king or a, a queen in my eyes. They nothing like what I, I said they were. I respect them. I honor them. But this person, I feel like you're going to tell your family and friends like how you really feel about this person. You, you can't stand them. I heard I know. Actions speak louder than words. And the people in your family, 
they could have like boyfriends and girlfriends or husband and wives or been with their significant other for a long time and when they look at you and this person y'all don't come off as girlfriend and boyfriend i heard friends y'all come off as friends y'all interact with each other like as friends and i feel like your family and friends always thought it was odd too how y'all interact I heard dressed like you and this person could have dressed alike in everything. But when y'all around, I heard a social setting, you treat this person like a friend. I heard no affection. You don't give this person, I feel like you don't, you never gave this person like public affection or even <laughs> private affection. Like you just never, you, mm, you, it was like you just treated this person as a friend. I heard as a homegirl. You look at this person as a homegirl. Or like your best friend. But like a best friend as in like a homeboy. <laughs> like that's how you look at this person. You and this person. I feel like y'all did so much shit together. But how you look at the situation. You look at this person like one of your best friends. Like, one of y'all, even though this is a, a female, you look at this person like, you know, even though they are female, but I look at them like one of the homies. And the things y'all have done together, you feel like this is some shit that I would do with the homies. I wouldn't do this with my girlfriend. That's how you look at this person. And this person, they so fucking stupid. They just so happy to be with you. I heard, or to be in your life. So, they will be down to do whatever you want to do. I heard being reckless. This person will be down to do it. Because in their mind, they feel like you love them. And y'all got something special. But they don't look at the type of stuff that you have this person doing. I heard schemes and fraud and you know you and you feel like if this was really my girlfriend or boyfriend I wouldn't put them in a situation for them to get I heard confiscated I just heard that and you this that's another reason why you you look at this person as a friend or like a homeboy <laughs> or a homegirl because it's like the things that I had this person do, I heard never, I would never, I heard jeopardize. <laughs> I would never put, you know, the person that I really love, I would never put them in a predicament like that. I heard go down. They would never go down for, you know, I don't know if this is some scamming shit. I heard threesomes. I feel like you could have even had a threesome with this person but you looking at it like because how you you look at this person like a homeboy even though this is the opposite sex but whenever y'all had this threesome i heard more than one y'all could have more than one threesome but you how you looking at it you looking at it like shit we both running a train together like you you know like say if i'm talking to a male gemini it's like you look at this person like this is one of the homies. So, yeah, we're going to have a threesome. We're going to run a train on this bitch. Like, that's how you look at it. <laughs> but this person, I heard follow the leader. This person just follow everything that you tell them to do. That's another reason why you don't like this person. You, I heard rebel. You like when the person, and that's probably why you and your person not together now. Because I feel like your person rebel against you. You don't like it, but you like it. And then with this person, you don't like that. You look at this person like they follow you around like a kid. No guidance. You feel like this person don't have no guidance at all. I heard can't think for themselves. You look at this person like a kid that can't think for themselves. I feel like you kind of like that. And if you've been with this person for a while, the reason why you've been with this, I heard connected to this person for a while. Because you like telling them what to do. 
But I feel like now it, it it's like annoying. Like you're a grown ass woman, a grown ass man, and you sit around and wait for me to tell you what to do. Like, how pathetic are you? I heard you don't have a life of your own. But the person that you in love with, you in love with them because they have no issues with leaving you. But this person, they will never leave you. And I feel like it's annoying. Like, <laughs> And that's what makes you think of the person that you in love with even more because they rebel against you. I heard you can't tell them what to do. You know that your person got a mind of their own. That's why you love them. I heard all the same. You feel like all these women or all these dudes are the same. The one, Especially the ones you interacted with. For some reason, the ones that you interacted with or the ones that you attract, they always... I heard treat you like a king or a queen or they always um like listen to you and they let you get away with I heard disrespecting them. They don't say nothing, they just let you I heard walk all over them. But the person that you in love with, I heard they check your ass. They put you in your place. This person actually hurt your feelings. I heard cry. This person made you cry and everything. But everybody else you interacted with, you made them cry. It's like the op that's why you like this person too, cause you it's like you break people hearts, you make them cry. They listen to everything you tell them to do. I heard Lieutenant General. Like the like these people <laughs> it, I heard they wait for your command. And you tell them what to do. You put these people on your time. You deal with them on, on your time. And they don't see nothing wrong. Gemini, I feel like you know it was wrong. But you enjoyed like telling people what to do. I heard boss people around. But the person that you in love with, you could have felt like it was impossible for you to fall in love with somebody as well. But you fell in love with this person because... This person actually got you by the balls. This person got you by the balls to where this person cons consumed your mind. You think about them day and night. You wonder like what the fuck they doing, who they talking to. Why they don't call me, why I haven't heard from them. Or they even having sex with other people. Who are these people? What's going on? You so intrigued with the person that you in love with. I heard more important. That person is more important to you than anybody. I heard anybody in this world. I heard the shit. The person that you in love with. This person is the shit to you. I heard never seen nothing like it. You never seen like a female or a dude to come in your life. And they was able to like break you down and make you cry. You never seen that. For the longest you could have felt like you so strong. But this person make you weak. I heard weak to the knees. Like somebody has like a hold on you. Even when you with other people. You think you still care about like what this person is doing. Even when you with other people, sleeping with other people, you still have this person in your mind. I heard even yeah, during sex. I earlier in the video I said you put this person's face on this stupid person. I heard during sex, after sex, you still think about this person. I heard you think about this person so much, it drives you crazy. You think about this person so much to where you want to come clean to your family about this person. And I feel like your family already know, like, this is who you in love with. Your family already knew that y'all must have broke up or something happened. Something about your behavior. Somebody's behavior changed. 
They feel like it's because you was going through a breakup. I heard especially the son. If you have a son or a child, I feel like even this son knew that you were suffering from a breakup. Even the son don't respect this person. You could have even told your son some of the things you did to this person. And your, and your son like, oh, hell no. Even your son felt like this person could never be my stepmama. Somebody has a son. And I feel like even the son feel like, no, this person is not a good example. Even somebody's son look at the person that you in love with. They look at that person like, okay, I, I, I feel like they will make a good stepmom to me. It, it's something like that going on. Or I feel like my dad should get back with my mom. It, yeah, it's like somebody's son don't even like this person neither. I'm picking up a son in particular. Somebody child don't even like this person. I heard if you didn't meet these people or if you didn't meet your person child, that child knows so much about you. I heard and seen so much about you. I heard gathered their own information about you to where the child respects you and what you do. I heard in how you behave. Even the son see the difference in these two. I heard women. Yeah, I feel like somebody's son did their own research on the person that you in love with, Gemini. And from what the son seen from for himself, I heard beautiful. I heard astonishing. Wow. Like, even your son feel like the person that you in love with is amazing. I heard all around. Your son feel like the person that you in love with. I heard a good... They feel like this person have a good head on their shoulders. They feel like they are beautiful or handsome. Um, I heard a good couple. They feel like y'all make a, a good couple or a cute couple. I heard I could see them being together. I heard this person is more of my dad's type. This son even feel like you're smart. But the T is that the reason why they feel like you're smart because of what happened between you and their father. Like I heard how you handled the situation. I feel like even the son know you don't call. Somebody don't call the other person. Even the son know, like, um, Gemini. Yeah, I'm one hour in this read. Somebody's son know, like, yeah, they don't play that. They serious. They don't play that. That's why this son, somebody's son look at you like a stepmother or like a mother figure to them. Discipline. I just heard discipline. I, could, somebody feel like when they look at you, I heard serious. Like they know you're serious. Intuitively, they know that about you. Somebody's son can have like psychic abilities or something. Or somebody's son is special. I heard like the dad. And the son could have seen a picture. And a picture is worth a thousand words. For like a son, intuitively, they picked up so many messages about this person. And they like, yeah. That's the one right there. Yep. I heard I want to meet them. Somebody's son wants to meet the person that you're in love with. 
And with this page of pinnacles at the bottom of the deck, somebody's son may, or child, they may end up reaching out to the person that you're in love with. I heard to reconcile. This son may even try to get y'all to reconcile. Because this son even know like you're not the same. The son knows something happened to where this son already, this son, I heard sense. This son feel like your person that you're in love with walked away from you. I heard everybody feel, feel that way. Everybody feel that the person that you in love with walked away from Gemini. That's why Gemini is tripping or something like that. And I heard make it right. I feel like somebody's son or somebody in your family or a friend may end up reaching out to the person that you in love with so y'all can um get back together. And as for this person. I heard, I, I feel sorry. Like, I feel sorry for this person. This person really gonna get their feelings hurt. I heard, I don't give a damn. Somebody said, <laughs> somebody just said, I don't give a damn. But like, now, you also shit like, you know what? I heard so much shit didn't happen to where I don't give a fuck. I heard I'm going to go after what I want. I'm going to get what I want, which is the person that you're in love with. You feel like the person you're in love with, they changed your life. I heard in a positive way. You even feel like the person that you're in love with, um, I heard sent from heaven. You could have, somebody could have been like in a dark negative, negative place in their life. Or they could be in a dark negative place now. Because I feel like it has something to do with you and the person that you're in love with. I feel like, I heard family. I feel like your family knows. I heard depressed, that you're depressed or sad or something. But the T is that the family know it's because of the person that you're in love with. Not this stupid person. So somebody in your family may reach out to this person. I heard don't care. You feel like <laughs> you just feel like the person that you're in love with, they just don't care. I heard I did so much shit. You feel like you did so much shit to this person to where you kind of... Somebody's going to sneak to talk to this person. Because you could have told... Or somebody could have recommended like, well, what if I reach out to them? And you want some shit like, I don't know how that's going to go. Because I, I know I did so much shit to them to where... I heard they may even cuss you out just because you associated with me. Somebody know <laughs> uh, the person you in love with, you like that they're crazy too. Look, I'm on one hour and three minutes. The person that you in love with, another reason why you love them because they, it's like they crazy.